We were well into the start of our Hawaii season and you kind of shut out all the other places around the world because you just focus on the swells that are come, gonna come to Hawaii. And that was just a really late season south swell that, you know, they come here and there over the years, but that one looked like it was gonna be big and I had originally pulled out to not go to do the XL Pro. But as, as the week kind of got closer and closer to the day of the swell, it became pretty substantial, like it was gonna be a really, really gigantic day. Shane Dorian was driving me. We went out real early in the morning. Instead of watch, we just figured we'd tow into a few to warm up. And there's a lot of hassling and jockeying for the sets. And that wave, it was so foamy, I think, that it pulled all the water out from the lagoon. Like, it sucks out really hard, you can see in Tahiti. And I let go kind of early because we were, she, he was, Shane was battling these, this other tow team to get in, like full NASCAR driving. And I just let go, like, I'm just gonna go. Hopefully this guy sees me let go and just kicks out, which they did. And it was way farther up the reef than I would have liked to let go. And I remember trying to pump and I had that same feeling as it starts to suck you up the face that I just set my edge as best as I could and just kind of felt like I was going to be too deep. And you're just, at that point, you're at the mercy of the wave. Once you stop pumping, you just got to hope you read it right and set your line. And I don't know, I got lucky enough to where it stayed open and gave me enough room between myself and the foam ball and I made it. Those days happen so little that, you know, you could easily ride the wave of your life on one of those days, and that's what kind of keeps getting me to go to all these places every time during the year.